Um. You know, the first thing I do when I get up is I check my phone. You know, because we're all glued to our phones. It's just, it's just how it is now. It's just the way it is. Check my phone because not only do I stay close to my friend, family, online friends, pretty much. It's a freaking window to the world now. Okay, it's like the perfect outlet. Before, you had to be glued to your computer to be knowing what's going on around the world. Now you just get on your phone. I get on my phone. And surprisingly enough, I didn't see enough information about this, but I saw one about a shooting in YouTube headquarters. I brushed it off. It just it was just one tweet. So it could have been just anybody just saying anything randomly because I follow people who say things randomly. People say random shit. It's an era of random sayings and I don't want to take full responsibility for that considering me and my crew's background but I saw it again and then I did some research and I'm just what so the story is that uh, a, a woman not happy about how her videos her contents were being taken now this woman didn't just have one YouTube she had several YouTubes and and several Instagrams I believe and she was all over the place. Her name is As uh, Nasim Abdab. Look, her name is Nasim Abdab, and she did videos about, um, you know, uh, basically um, protecting animals and uh, vegetarian stuff. And this, this, this. She was kind of political. Her videos were mainly green screen uh pretty bad quality but she was consistent i mean i gotta give it to her she was consistent um she was too consistent if you if it com coming to the freaking final product that she did dude like first surprisingly it's a woman and i'm sure people i'm sure the freaking the thing that really upsets me not only the fact that this happened is the fact of the person that that did it you know like this is fuel to the fire about closing borders and whatnot you know here's here's someone who came from iran i believe um i'm sorry if, if my information is all wrong here i'm i'm like like i'm getting things left and right now here's another okay before i get to that so she's from Iran, Middle East, and she comes here, she makes these videos. If you see the clips of these videos, now, which you can't no more because they took it out, but somehow the news outlets, they get them. She was kind of special, you know. I don't like to judge anybody, but you see the product, you see the person, how she is, and you're like, okay, what? Now here's the thing, the family knew something was up. Um, she was very disappointed. She was really pissed off with YouTube. And she's not the first person to be pissed off with YouTube. YouTube has affected me as well. I'm not to the point where I'm like, oh, you motherfuckers. Because it's not that big of a deal. Some people are trying to, some people have this big dream that YouTube is it. That you can be it in YouTube. And you could. But it's a lot of work, you know, like things are different now than it was before I had that dream too But my dream didn't consist just on YouTube. My dream was to have my own kind of site and my own kind of production You know make videos entertain people just be my own boss to do things our way It never kicked off like that you see, life goes a different way. I'm very happy. I'm not upset. Yes, I would love to do more, but I'm very happy where I'm at. Now, she was not very happy. She was mad that her views were, she, that, that all these restrictions and, and 
and monetization laws and whatever and shit rules were affecting her videos. She was getting attacked for being too uh, provocative or something like that with her workout videos. And she would say that all oh, these other videos like Nicki Minaj and Demi Lovato are very sexual and they're still on YouTube getting many views, no age restriction. She was hit with a lot of age restrictions. You can find this anywhere on YouTube. I'm, you probably even seen videos already where the news, uh, the news shows you these videos. And then the family, she was missing. And the family was like, oh, you know, they called and they put out that she's missing, whatever. And she was from like San Diego, I believe. And she drove to San Francisco, which is not a, not a close drive. You know, it's, it's a big state. I think it was like a uh, maybe eight to ten hour drive over there. They found her one night at a town nearby that was like 25 miles close to the YouTube headquarters and they let the parents or the family know the parents know and you know they're they didn't do anything the cops didn't do anything the family was telling them that you know she is very mad with YouTube and they're afraid she might do something they were warned now granted that alone is kind of you can't really do anything. I mean, that alone. Maybe they should have done something. She seemed cool. She was calm. And they didn't see any reason for them to detain her. Um, you can't really do anything to somebody for a crime they didn't commit yet. You know, or any proof to commit. It kind of comes to the whole minority report thing, you know. But they didn't know that soon after she... We'll start shooting on YouTube and she went in there and at the end she took her own life. I think she probably killed three people, injured others. Now this brings me to another point of this whole thing is that the news the news is little pieces of information here and there. We never know the facts. What I'm saying is that I and many others are interpreting the news as we see it and heard. But we weren't there. And we don't know what happened. They say that she took her own life. Others say that uh, she didn't take her own life. And that the police took her down. The only people that know what happened is her. And those who were there. I mean it's not going to affect YouTube at all. Um, YouTube goes through a lot of stuff. YouTube is part of our culture. Um, we had the guy show a dead body on YouTube and he got affected, but he's still doing well. It's just the truth. The world is crazy and we can just try to get by and try to make it the best we can by being excellent to each other. I'm going to quote Bill and Ted. I don't know. I don't know. I don't get a lot of views. I don't, you know, I'm affected by all this. My thoughts and prayers goes out to everybody at the YouTube headquarters that got affected by this. Uh, but we will be fine. We'll move on. They'll move on. Everything will be good. And uh, life continues. Uh, let's hope nothing like this ever happens again. Uh, and just anything. And school shootings, any shooting, anywhere. Don't need it. It's no reason. Come on, people. Stop killing each other. You, you pissed off at the world and you want to shoot people, then go play Grand Theft Auto and just go on a killing spree. I'm not going to go out there and go on a killing spree. It's just, it's just not right.